Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll take you through the steps of my first application of rice water on my hair. I've already washed my hair and now I'm getting ready to rinse out my deep conditioner before applying the rice water. Deep conditioner is rinsed out and my hair parted into four sections. I'm now going to take the rice water that I have been storing in a bowl and pour it into a smaller applicator bottle before putting it on my hair. Notice that I'm also massaging the rice water into my scalp. I'm doing this because research has shown rice water to help stimulate blood flow. Some other benefits of rice water are that it is a good hair conditioner. Um, it has amino acids that increase shine, smoothness, and volume. The amino acids also help in the regeneration of hair and it aid in faster hair growth. The rice water contains vitamin B, C, and E, which further helps in hair growth restores the pH level, fights frizz. Um, there's a carbohydrate in the rice water that helps strengthen elasticity and reduce surface friction, helping to repair damaged hair. And lastly, it decreases hair fallout. I've saturated each section of my hair, but you can see that I still have a lot of water left. So I'm just gonna take it and lean over the sink and pour the rest of it on my hair. Now I would recommend doing this in the shower. Next time I probably will with a spray bottle, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna put a towel on the floor to avoid making a mess. Now that I've used all of the rice water, I'm going to once again section my hair into four just to make detangling a bit easier in the shower when I get ready to rinse the rice water out. Now I'm going to put my shower cap on and let the rice water do its magic. I just finished rinsing the rice water out. Um, I can say that my hair is really, really, really soft. I left it in for about, I think, 20 to 30 minutes. And after the first 10 minutes, I started feeling this tingling sensation on my scalp. So I guess that is a good sign uh, that uh, there's some type of stimulation going on there. Uh, but right now I have my hair in twist. I've applied my leave-in conditioner and my uh, macadamia heat protectant. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair just so you guys can see how long it is um, when it's stretched. I want to be able to do a comparison between, you know, before and after to see, you know, if there has been any progress made. Uh, before I blow dry my hair, I'm going to show you the, ri the rice that I use. It is the Yoga Organics long grain brown rice so organic rice no pesticides or anything no ge genetic modifications or anything just pure organic rice and i boiled it in 100 percent natural spring water it's the only type of water that i drink i think i did two cup two bottles of this to i think a half a cup of rice and i let that simmer very very low um, for about 30 minutes. My hair is now fully blow dried and this is how long it is. Um, there are several reasons why I decided to try the rice water and one is because I recently noticed a very small bald spot in the front of my hair. I'm going to try to pinpoint the area so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So it's not very noticeable. I know I know that there is some hair missing in that area so if you, I will place my finger to where I am having issues. So I'm just gonna keep parting here until I get, there it is, right there where my finger is. As you can see, there is a small amount of hair missing, so hopefully the rice water will help that to grow back. The second reason I decided to try the rice water is 
to hopefully thicken my edges. If you have been following me, you know that I've always complained about having naturally thin edges. Um, so when I pull my hair back, you can really see the thin areas and uh, it's more so on the left side. So hopefully the rice water will help promote growth in this area. And my third and final reason for using the rice water is that hopefully it will come back breakage and regrow some short spots. Uh, I'm going to comb my hair out and show you guys some areas where I've been having issues. So the back right side of my hair seems to split and break off very easily. So I've been trimming that area as often as needed. And as I comb my hair over, I'm going to point to the area where you will notice my the back part of my hair is a tad bit shorter than the other than the rest of my hair. So right here in this area that I'm pointing to, that's where I've been having to trim a lot lately. And then the top seems to be thin, but that's because I had some breakage in the middle of my hair. And that took away from the fullness of that particular side of my hair. So it looks very thin. Now on the left side, I haven't had as many issues. So you will notice that it is a lot thicker than the right side and it looks a lot healthier. Now, overall, I do feel that my hair is healthy, but there is still a lot of room for improvement and areas that I need to work on and regrow and strengthen and just make sure it's um, at its healthiest state. So the first application of the rice water really left my hair very soft um, It left it shiny. It's very smooth and well conditioned. Um, my hair has never been this well moisturized after blow drying. Normally I have to apply more leave-in and an oil salad after blow drying, but this time I didn't have to do anything. So overall, I love the results of the rice water and I cannot wait to track the progress of my hair. I plan to apply rice water every wash day, which is once every two weeks. So that is my time, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to my first episode. See you guys next time.